Hello everyone, welcome to Adora Perfect Pups. And today we have a beautiful litter here. This is a litter announcement for Clover and Elias. And they were born on the 10th of April. This is a litter of F1B Cavapoos and Clover is the mom and she's an F1 Cavapoo. And this is the dad, Mr. Elias. And he's got a beautiful haircut today. So he <laughs> freshly, fresh. freshly bathed and, and groomed. So he's, he's looking good. Aren't you buddy? <laughs> Pretty proud. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, here with Angie and, my, and myself, Micah here as always. And um, we have a wonderful litter here to show you today. We also wanted to show off the parents a little bit, the proud parents. And um, yeah, just want to talk about this litter a little bit. Um, so they again were born on the 10th of April. So they're only about a week old right now at the filming of this video. Exactly a week. Exactly, yeah, exactly a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. That'll be easy to remember. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Puppies born so. on Wednesdays are good for us, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. So we'll have Angie maybe talk about them a little Love bit. Um, mm -hmm. I'll hold them up maybe and That'd we can kind of work together. So. Sure. so we have three males in our litter, uh, one female. And this little one here is one of our males. Mm -hmm. He has beautiful markings. Mm -hmm. uh, he will be fun to watch, grow and develop and watch this white markings um, layer themselves on top of his ruby coat. He'll be mm -hmm. very, very striking. So this uh, coloration that we're seeing on him is what uh, he usually throws in his puppies. So we're pretty tickled about that. Um, the other mm -hmm. two males don't have as much white on the forehead. Uh, actually none and nothing across on the region. Oh, look, we have a few strands. Remember yeah, our five a, strand yeah. puppy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's strands. got a few strands on his forehead yeah, there yeah. and on his chest uh -huh. and on the tips of his toes Tips there. of his toes. So they have a little bit of white, but just not as much vis visually on the face structure. So those, we have two males that look somewhat similar. That looks like to be a little bit of a size variance mm -hmm. there between them. Slightly and probably a little difference in curl coat once we. Um, I think this one here. might have a little bit more curl. You can yep. kind of see yep. it on the back I was there. Say the same thing. Yep. Yeah, so striking little guys. And then we have one tiny little lady. He's got a little bit of white on his chest. Yeah. There. Sorry, I didn't mean to rush No, you. it's fine. Really yeah, and then we do have one one tiny little girl here. Tiny little girl. And she's doing phenomenal and she's <laughs> got all the markings that we love to see. Um, we have two She's families on this on wait list, which there. is really exciting. One family that for sure wants a female, so mm -hmm. I guess they're, it's pretty obvious yep. what happens there, right? And then our other family is looking at a male, and they're considering the little fella uh, with the white markings on him. Mm -hmm. And so we have two positions open here on Clover's litter, and then um, Monica and Mercedes are coming up. Mm -hmm. And we have openings in their litters. Uh, Do you want to um, talk weeks? a little bit about Clover yes, and um, Eli's exactly. personality and mm -hmm. um, so how these might turn out? So what you see is what they are. Mm -hmm. uh, this transfers to their puppies. Um, Clover has a little more energy. Um, Kira's puppies are ready to go home. You might remember her. She's very similar in size uh, to Clover. Um, Clover had a litter in the fall. She did, Miss Clovey. Um, she's got good energy and she's super, super loving. She's an excellent mother. Mm -hmm. Excellent mother. She's tiny. Yeah. So we're 10 pounds and under on her. Um, he's close to 12, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that puts us in the t like 15 and under pound range. Yeah. Um, more likely closer to 10. But there are a couple little fellas in here that are showing a little larger size comparative to the girl. Mm -hmm. So still really tiny mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. really really tiny but she's just a lovely lovely girl and i get it really excited when i have puppies with with my cavapoos because they're especially when he is the mister because he has beautiful puppies and our families have just enjoyed the ones that have previous puppies have enjoyed them so much yeah and reported back on them and we just have great stories <laughs> <laughs> awesome so these little ones um speaking of going home would be end of june ish uh we're at seven days right now so that puts us at ens stage where we're still waking up the brain and waking up their little <laughs> their little blood flow in their body slightly stressing them and then also doing their daily scent introductions. <laughs> and that continues till day 16. So we're almost halfway through. Yep. It's hard to believe it goes by so fast. 
but I took some photos when last week of the litter when they were just born mm -hmm. and by day 10 they double in size and so comparative if we could, from birth to 10 days which is like in three days from now um, they have grown. Mm -hmm. They've grown well, and Mama's doing they an all excellent have nice job. Little round bellies. They have round bellies. They're happy. They're content, right? And Mama's nearby, so mm -hmm. they smell that, and they're still doing okay. <laughs> this little one is an acrobat. I don't know if you can <laughs> catch it, but well, maybe straighten you out a little bit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They like to. I was getting closer to Mom. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, the yeah. moving across each other, which is an interesting fact, also stimulates the intestinal tract. So litters that migrate across each other are actually moving, um, helping with elimination. So I thought that was kind of interesting when I hmm. learned that little, little. There's a process to everything and a reason behind it. And all the care. Hope <laughs> <laughs> so nobody has an explosion or <laughs> me cannot come out so good. <laughs> yeah. So that's the litter. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks, Angie. I, You're welcome. Yeah, we won't um, do too much longer here. We right. just wanted to introduce this pup, this puppies, these puppies, and and the litter themselves, and Clover and, and Elias here. Um, and yeah, if you are interested in any of our litters, please reach out to us at thedoorofperfectpups.com, and uh, we would love to talk to you. Thanks for watching.